Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about one more problem from lead code. The problem name is can make palindrome from substring. So the problem statement goes like this that you're given a string s and an array queries where query of i is has is having three variables left i, right i and k of i. What all are these three things? So you may rearrange the substring from s of left to right for each query and then those up to k i characters you can replace with any English letter. So what you'll actually have to do is that you are given the string s and you have to do some queries on that. Now let's say a query has left, like a left bound, right bound and a k. Now when you are given some query, you can take that particular string from left to right and you can like you can like rearrange all the characters in that substring what in whatever manner you want. And also you can have the cap capacity to choose up to k elements like from that whole string and you can change it to any other lowercase character that you want. After this whole operation, you just have to tell that the new substring that you have formed by re reshuffling the whole characters and replacing at most k characters, whether the possible string that you have formed is a palindrome or not. That's the overall thing, and you just have to find out answer. Now, uh, the overall thing is that to check out whether a particular substring or like any string is palindrome, you just have two conditions that it has uh, it should be a mirror image about the center. Okay, for that everything should be in pair. And if it is odd length, then the last, then the middle character should not be in pair. But for a for even or odd length, except the middle character, or like for an odd length, except the middle character, and for even length, everything should be in pair. Every every character, then you can form a palindrome. So because it has a lot of queries up to number five and also length number five, I cannot just do this for every uh, like in a very brute force. I just have to get very instantaneously or very quickly. What is the number of characters for every substring I have? And because that at most 26 characters, I can just do it in a some sort of a prefix sum type of problem. What I'll do is that I will form a prefix sum over this whole substring that at every instance, how many characters I have. Okay, at every instance of this particular string, I'll tell you with a diagram. And then if I want to find out how many instances of every character between a particular range is, I'll just use the prefix sum to get that in O of 1. And when I have the particular values of elements in a particular substring, what I eventually have to find out that whether after doing key operations, whether the whole of, uh, prefix is equivalent to a palindrome or not. That's the overall problem. Now, how you can first do the uh, or like prefix operation, let us take that into account. Let's say that the whole string is S, A, P, E, O. S R T. That's just a random word. Now what you'll do is that you will make a matrix like this, which has this number of columns, which is fine. Okay. And 26 rows. Zero. So let's say a row for A, a row for B, a row for C, and a row for Z. Like this. Let's say that the first character is S and let's say S is here somewhere. So you will update this as 1. Now the other character is 1 here. So I will update 1 here. But I will also take this in a prefix manner. So whatever values are here, let's say 0, 0, 0, 0 and 1. I will also carry forward this to the next column as well and append these values. Add this. So this will be added 0. 0 plus 1 that is 1 only. So this because it is A only. So this is only added once here. Nothing else in this particular column is updated. One of them will be 0. But all the values will be shifted. So this will become 0. This will become 0, 0, 0, 0. This will become 1 because this 1 is coming from the left hand side. It will become 1, 0, 0. So now this particular column is two ones. Now B. So let's say B is somewhere here. B is somewhere this here. And it is, it is also now becoming 1. So when I transfer the column values to the next column, this will be transferred as 1 because this will be 0. Because uh, there is no A, but A is coming from the back. Okay, so this is one. This is uh, again no Z, these as of now so zero. Then zero 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 zero. This one is coming from this one, and this is coming from this as let's say zero. And uh, this is V, so this is coming as as zero zero, and this is one. Okay, so now there are three ones and so on. So you can keep on appending. Now when when you have let's say one more S, so you will append. This is coming as one one one, and when I see one more S, this will become two. What it eventually tells us that until this point like at this point i have 2s okay now what it eventually help us is 
let's say that i just want to tell how many s are or like how many o are there between this point and this point okay i have a number of o's that are traversing like this maybe on a, let's say the number of b's are there on a number of let's say number of e are there let's assume number of e okay now number of e let's say maybe stored here and it has appended at this point that is one and then it is it might be traversing because the column sided now at this point i know that the number of e's is one and this point the number of e's is zero because e's i added here so if i just subtract this from this value i will just get the number of e's between this range because before this there is no e after this there is all r e's so i will just get how many occurrence of e are between this point between this particular range and i can do this for all the uh, all the characters like how many a's are there between this range how many a's b's are there between this range and so on so i have all of these particular characters how many of these characters are there between a particular substring so from left to right i can just do this in o of o of 1 because there are 26 cat 26 columns and just, like, they are just constant so what you can directly do is that you can just do this in o of 1 type of only because there are 26 columns not much dependent upon n and you can just get that how many uh cat a b c are there between this particular range okay now you have that now let's say i have two a's i have four b's and so uh, okay and then i have one c okay like this now i have also some k value like how many changes i can do let's say i have zero k i cannot do any change so what i do i have this information i can just have to check that whether i can do some changes in this particular string and uh, make this as a palindrome now for a palindrome i just have to check that uh, what i have to check that everything should be in pairs except one character if it is an odd length or uh, it should be evenly paired out so a is evenly paired out b is evenly paired out by pairing out means that if i have a string let's say a a b b c i can put two a's on the very end then two b's like this and again two b's and then one c in the middle it is a palindrome okay so palindrome means let's say if i just mirror image it it's on same on the left hand side right okay so what we'll eventually do is that we have this information i can get that if i have some k okay what i eventually do is that i will first change out these characters that are not paired out okay so if there is some character that is paired out then i will not change like if it is paired out i don't want to change them because it is already paired out they eventually formed a, a parent row but if it is some that are not paired let's say some, there is some d also that is one and c also one but i have k let's say equal to 2 okay i can change two character so i will just change this d into c so that this c will eventually paired with this and that's it so what my overall goal is that i will have to check that how many odd or odd numbers are there that are not divisible and then like pair them out somewhere and if they can be paired then it is good else uh, answer is false so what we will do is that uh, we will first find out that prefix matrix so we will just make a vector of n size that is n columns and it has 26 rows or you can do vice versa also that it has uh, that it has 26 column and uh, n rows whatever imagination you can do that and then fill that prefix array so whatever character you have first like add this value and like let's say i have a so add it into the next column that is i plus 1 and then from the previous column i will just like let's say previous column i will add all the values in the in the next column that is i plus 1 so that is how you can just uh, transfer the values so the 26 values 26 will be transferred 26 value will be transferred to the next column that is how the prefix matrix is built now uh, we just have to find out the answer will it read all the queries so a couple of queries left and right so and this number of operations i can do that is k so i have to first find out uh, let's say the like there's a base case that if the number of operations i can do is greater than the characters in the substring let's say substring has five characters and i have 10 operations so i can just change all the characters into same character and that is always always true that i can form a palindrome the answer is true always else we have to first find out how many odd characters are there like that are not have the same parity or that are not pairing up So I will set it over all the 26 characters, and what I'll do is that I have to find out how many characters are there in between, between the left and right range. So just find out that, and then if it is an odd, if the character is odd, that is not zero, then I just increment the odd characters. So eventually, after doing this for loop, I have the number of odd characters between this particular substring that I have that I want to make a substring, like I want to make a palindrome. Now what I'll do is let's say I have uh, five operations. Okay, so I have uh, let's say few odd numbers and I have five operations. so in each operation i will make one odd number equal to the another odd number okay so that they can they will be forming a pair which i have told you and they form a pair and they can be cancel out and we will move to the next odd number 
So what eventually I'm forming out is that for every one operation, I'm removing out two characters because one, let's say there is one C and one C, both of them are matching up and they are removing because the odd numbers are that they are odd. They are not pairing up to something. But now by changing or doing one operation, I'm making a pair because let's say I have two odd, num odd, odd numbers. There are C that is occurring odd times and D is also occurring odd times. But it eventually means is that I have not paired C and D. I just make a pair of one C and one D. That is, I just convert one C to one D and they will be figured out and they both will be removed out. So the number of elements that will be removed out is two into operations. Okay, if I have let's say key operations, I will remove all of those elements from the odd list I have. Now eventually, if the number of odd elements that are left is e like less than like zero, less than, or maybe uh, maybe after doing this operation, it is one also, then it is fine. We can do that and, and make it into parent row. But if it is greater than one, then the answer is false because after doing this whole operation also, if there are more than one odd numbers present inside the segment that I'm talking about, then it is already false. We, we cannot make it parent row. Else we can make it parent row, so answer is true. And we just return out the uh, answer for all the queries that we have. And that's it. That's all the logic and the code part for this particular problem. If you still have any doubts, you can mention it in the comment box for this particular problem. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Thank you coding. And